everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the Commodity Archive collection of fragrances and I have some exciting sale news and updates on the range. If you aren't new here, then hello, welcome back. We're all about perfumes. I have videos on niche perfumes, designer, celebrity, everything under the sun. So do check out my other content. And if you're a regular, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me. And as always, links will be in the description box to where you can get these perfumes all around the world, along with my commodity discount code SOKI that gives you 10% off your order. So Commodity um, is a really interesting independent brand. They started with a Kickstarter campaign in 2013 and they relaunched in 2021. And since the relaunch, a lot of the focus has been on their scent space collection, which are really well known. And they have different versions of the same fragrance, a plus, a minus, and then the middle version. And I have a whole video on them, so I'll leave it linked below. But they also have their art archive collection which I have right here and it actually includes my favorite fragrance from commodity rain and archive collection is really important part of their story since they founded so the archive collection is going to be changing soon and it's going to be more like the scent space collection so the formulas aren't going to be changing but they're going to be re-released in periodic limited edition drops and the discovery kit that I have here will continue to be on their site and they're going to be bringing back some of their discontinued scents in these limited edition drops as well and the big sale news is that from the 24th to the 28th of August you can buy any archive fragrance and you get a whole other full-size one for free so it's effectively like 50% off buying two it's an amazing deal and then after the 28th whatever's left will have 60% off with a additional 15% off and that will only last from the 29th to the 30th of August so very short opportunity to get these at amazing prices so the archives collection has 11 in at the moment comes in this really nice packaging with this really useful guidebook and I'm going to take you through them now so rain is absolutely my favorite fragrance from commodity and one question that I get asked quite a lot is for a fragrance that smells like rain or the scents that you get outdoors after it's rained um, I think it's called Pe Petriorque and it's a really difficult scent to create a lot of brands have come out with fragrances saying they smell like that like there was a Maison Margiela replica one and I didn't think that smelt like the scent after the rain at all for me commodity rain is the best example of like that legit rain scent it literally smells like the water of the rain. And then as it settles, I start getting some earthy undertones. I get the scent of greenery. It really reminds me of hills. It has England's tallest mountain, Scarfell Pike. And we used to go walking there at the weekend a lot. And I always used to love it when it rained. When we were out walking, you've got all these like fir trees and the forest and all the greenery around you. And you'd get the most amazing smell of the trees, the bark and all that water from the rain. That really takes me back to there. I love the power that fragrance has to take you to a memory. And that's what this does to me. And this, you know, that was like, gosh, over 20 years ago, I guess, probably. So I really recommend this. All the fragrances from Quality are unisex. This is definitely a unisex fragrance. And I love wearing it when I just want that like nature calming vibe. They're all really good quality. They're all Eau de Parfum and they come in these 100 mil sizes and you can see the packaging and everything is very like stripped back. The, the, fra the commodity fragrances are all very much about the scent. It's not about marketing and things like that. And there's definitely a trend around sort of sharing your fragrance with your partner. You could definitely like get this and a man and a woman could wear it. Definitely anyone could wear this of any age and it's just really natural feeling. I really like it. So that's definitely my top recommendation. So we can go through the others. So you can see they have white and black themed ones with the, and they have like a white or black label and lid. And the white ones are lighter than the black ones. So if we start with Nectar, I love that name Nectar. So this is a combination of white florals, obviously like the Nectar of a flower, alongside some fresh bergamot. So this reminds me a little bit of Aqua de Palma's lemon fragrances. Along with the lemon, you've got a neroli note, which is the blossom and leaves from the um, bitter orange tree. And there's plenty of orange blossom in here and a vetiver undertone. So this really combines like citrusy lemony notes with green leaf, 
bark tree notes. So again, it's very nature, very outside and definitely a unisex scent. It's probably a little bit heavier than rain and the vetiver note is really coming through. Vetiver is quite a strong fragrance note. It's very, very green. And that's what really lasts and comes through to me along with the new Roly. I think this is definitely a daytime scent. I can see people wearing this to the office or just sort of going outdoors in the springtime. Again, definitely unisex. Anyone that likes your new Roly scents, you can think this is just a very clean, crisp new Roly. We then have Magnolia. Mm. Now this is probably one of the most floral scents from Commodity. They don't have a lot of really flowery scents. Here we've got a whole bouquet of roses mixed with ylang ylang, violet, the magnolia and the water lily. For me, this is not like a typical bouquet type flowery scent because it has undertones of oak moss. It's giving me slightly cheaper vibes, but quite green. So cheaper fragrances are a category of fragrance that have like a citrus top note, chewy oak moss base, and then a rose heart. The most famous cheaper fragrance is Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel, the worldwide bestseller. And it definitely gives me that kind of vibe, but it's like much greener. If there was like a Chanel Coco Mademoiselle green like overt version or oh fresh I think this is what it would smell like and probably more similar to Chanel's chance oh fresh and the greenness in here there's a eucalyptus in here definitely what make this unisex they bring out the oat moss in the base so at first you get the flowers but as it settles it becomes warm and green very complex this one and definitely a lot more to it than just magnolia bergamot is another citrusy one to me this is getting slightly towards the masculine side it has that vetiver in again and i get orangey notes as well as the bergamot it also has a mint in here and a geranium so very much green spring outdoors so again the name bergamot might make you think oh it's just going to be a bergamot fragrance but there's so many other things going on i find the archive collection really interesting the fragrances there's like keep smelling them and you get a different note different note each one has so many notes in yeah that one definitely smells like spring to me so next we have one called gin now this one is quite a sophisticated scent it has some woody notes in it so you do kind of get the smell of gin i think gin is actually just vodka mixed with juniper berries i think that's what gin is and i definitely do get the scent of having like a gin and tonic like that refreshing, thirst quenching gin and tonic smell. So you've got this fresh watery note, but underneath woody sandalwood and, and even a hint of leather. So it's kind of like going to a, a nice bar with lots of leather chairs, a woody counter and ordering a gin and tonic. That's what this smells like to me. So next we have one called Mimosa. Now this one again is very green and they've used a lot of geranium in here. So I really get that garden outdoors feel. There's also a very orangey jasmine and a hint of black pepper. And as it develops, what I really get is blood orange and grapefruit. I love both of those fragrance notes. I just find them so refreshing, especially for a hot day. So mimosa, I definitely would recommend for like the summer when it's quite humid. That blood orange, that grapefruit vibe is just like a, a wake up shot isn't it just to sort of refresh you this is definitely i think one of the most refreshing and it doesn't have any vetiver or green undertones like the freshness really comes through bit of a geranium underneath so a bit of greenness but it's not an intense oak moss or vetiver greenness so moving on to the black ones so leather is absolutely what it says on the tin um, it's a slightly aromatic leather perfume with some juniper berries cedar oregano if you're a woman looking for a leather fragrance i think this would work really well for you but it could absolutely be worn by men as well i quite like I was spraying this on my partner Stephen earlier and he really liked this. He liked those leathery perfumes, but it's not overpowering leather. It's not like something you could only wear at night. You could definitely wear it during the day. Um, I found this one lasts really well on skin and clothes. It's very deep, intense fragrance, hence the black color bottle. So next we have a really interesting one. I think this is called Whiskey, but the actual name is like W with stars and then the Y. And this is inspired by the scent of like American whiskey, you know Jack Daniels but also this the scent of like the wood around the whiskey barrels casks mm. and you really get a rich like an ebony wood 
scent. Really interesting, sexy wood. And I think for me, this is probably leaning towards more evening or at least autumn, winter, cozy wood by the fireplace type vibes. It smells expensive, like a deep expensive wood. Like you've just bought a really expensive piece of furniture. Definitely one for woody fans. And I think this smells really nice on a man. They also have um, bois, which is French for wood. Now this is a little bit of a sweeter wood. We've got vanilla in here and it's also spicy with a pimento chili a bit of pink pepper. So at first you get quite a refreshing note and then as it develops, you're getting a cedar sandalwood combination with some vanilla. So more of a classic traditional woody scent. Doesn't have quite as much of the intensity as the whiskey one. Perhaps a little bit more daytime could definitely wear this to work and then maybe wear the whiskey one in the evening. So we also have one called Vetiver. Now this one is a really rich vetiver and they've mixed it with patchouli. Patchouli and vetiver are both really strong fragrance notes. So this is very intense, cozy. It is definitely made for lovers of vetiver if you just want something really strong vetiver. Definitely recommend this. I also think this would be nice layering if you have another perfume that has vetiver in and you really wanna bring it out, make it stronger perhaps in the evening. You could definitely layer this with any vetiver based scent. And then lastly, we have one called wool. Now this is the most aromatic of all of them. We've got cedar wood, we've got basil and lavender, which is what gives it that calming aromatic feel. A little bit of a musk and a fresh grapefruit top note. Quite clean daytime. I guess when you think of wool, you think of, you know, cotton and quite clean, you know, clean living vibes. It's very much for me daytime, this one. I like the basil in there. It works well with the cedar. And I'm, I'm loving lavender and perfumes at the moment. Just so calming and relaxing. If you just want like something quite chill, easygoing, everyday scent, I think wool is nice. Very unisex. Um, I could definitely see this working well on a man and ladies that like your more aromatic scents. So that's all of the current collection in the archives collection. So let me just repeat the offer. So my code SOKI gives you 10% off um, everything at Commodity and then that's lasting forever. And then 24th to 28th of August is when you've got the buy any archive fragrance, get another free. And then from the 29th and the 30th of August, just two days, you've got 60% off and then additional 15% off on top of that. And I think my Soki 10% off code will work when you're getting the buy one, get one free. And I think with the 60% off as well, but probably not with the additional 15% off because then you're getting like, getting so much money off, they're basically almost free. So links below to their website where you can get these. They are also available at Sephora, but they won't be having the same deal there and link below to my video on their other even bigger collection, their scent space collection as well. But guys, let me know if you've tried any of the commodity fragrances, which are your favorite. Let me know in the comments down below. I do read all your comments, but that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.